Hello everyone, so I've just walked into Dollar Tree and this probably will be my last visit through the store. Well, through this store actually for a few weeks because my area has gone into lockdown, but aren't these fairy garden items the cutest ever? They're so stinking cute. Like, look at this little oh, beach house. Anyways, great little decor pieces. So I thought I'd better share with you because I won't have access to these things for a while. Is anyone else in lockdown? Just the little umbrellas. I can't get over how cute these are. These used to be stocked up along the front of the store, so they've just moved them inside and they're just amongst all the garden items. Hmm, that's interesting. Lots of fencing options and different things for garden needs. Who has already started planting outdoors? They have these two options. This one's taller, this one's a little more shallow and wider, depending on what you're doing with these pots. So I definitely want to grab some party stuff for decorating for my daughter's birthday just because there's rumor of a more serious lockdown happening. So I'm going to just grab some things because I just don't know if I'm going to have access to these aisles. And these boxes are actually really great for making nice packages. I'll insert a little clip at the end to share with you what I've done with them in the past. They have some really pretty bags out right now. I love these bows. They're like a velvet finish on the one side, really soft. The inside metallic, so pretty. They have different colors as well. Oh, see, here's like a purple, a wine color I hadn't seen before. Just beautiful. How pretty are these bows? These must have been recently stocked because the last time I was here they only had a few of these pastel colored bins and you can see here that they have quite the variety. I know they're really popular. So I think I have candles and the helium balloons, I, well not helium, sorry, they're just inflatable balloons I already got and I think I'm okay for these, I don't need them. Oh, I really want to take a look down the cleaning aisle to see if I can find any more of those Valida ceramic stovetop brushes, not these here, which is nice to see that they have some more brand name stuff. It's actually a, it's called the scrunch. Oh, here's some Swiffers. These are great. Swift, Swiffer, yeah, Swiffer dusters. I wonder if these would work well on my ceramic cooktop. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, I haven't had luck finding any more. They're not a typical regular brush. These look good. Has anyone tried them before? Oh, I'm knocking things over. keep 
hoping to find the cherry filling, but none here at all today. Let's see if there's anything else that looks promising for baking. Just your typical standard things that normally are here. Usually this little end cap here has baking needs, like decorative baking stuff, not makeup. I find this really kind of a strange place for makeup. So these are all toiletry size. I think I spotted these last time, the axe. And then they always have some awesome things. And then sometimes you'll actually find full size things as well. They have Biore. And jerkins, I believe. See, and then they have the toothpaste here, travel size. Some brand named razors, Barbasol. So now I kind of keep an eye on the baby department just because we have some newer babies in the family and friends and they have some really cute things sometimes so i'm not a big fan of the fleece blankets but i know some of you are um, however i do love their little these little cloths i'm a huge fan of reusable cloths so i think that these are adorable i'm just gonna go down to the makeup section i know some of you love walking through the makeup aisle they have pretty much things that I've shared with you in the last few weeks. The e.l.f. product, I don't really see anything new here. And then, well these are newer beauty pots. The eyeshadow palettes. And then they have the color correcting, I guess toners and things like that. Oh this is new, eyeshadow by Revlon. Oh, actually, these are newer as well, nude lipsticks. I shared them, I think, in the last video when I was here. Has anyone tried these products? I'm not sure exactly what they are, like HD lifting, con I don't know, eyeshadow. And then they have a ton of mascara. Some more lipsticks and lip glosses. of nail polishes. They have some really pretty options too. I've used their nail polishes and I've had really great luck with them so I have no complaints on my part with their nail polishes actually. <laughs> Nothing really new in the fashion nails. Oh look! The jade facial rollers are hiding down low, like I'm super low down here. Oh, and they have new nail tips, or they're fun. They're like an ombre effect. How cool is this? It looks like airbrush effect, really neat. Dollar Tree recently has been really stepping up their game when it comes to the glassware. They have like little quotes and sayings and I think even some horoscope ones out now. But yeah, I'm just going to run down this aisle here, which is mostly glassware and kitchen things. See if they have any new plates. And then I'm pretty much done and headed out. I hope you guys enjoyed walking around the store with me. And... And there's some new oh somebody was looking for shot glasses they're up top at this store anyways until next time everyone i hope you have a wonderful day bye for now
It's over now, so don't despair. 